Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle present value, ordinary and with T. So let's start with the variables. We have P for the present value and with T. C for cash flow or regular payments. Letter M naman for number of times compounded. At ang R for the rate. And lastly, yung T for time. So let's review also no big number of times compounded for a year. Ito yung variable na n. So pag by annually, that will be 0.5. Pag annually, that will be 1. Semi-annually, that will be 2. Quarterly will be 4. Monthly naman ay 12. Weekly natin ay 52. At ang daily will be 365. And let's go for the formula. Formula natin will be yung present value is equal to the Cash flow times mo sa quantity. Doon muna tayo sa numerator part. We have 1 minus the quantity 1 plus R over N. And ang exponent mo ay negative N times T. Okay? Ang denominator naman, that will be R over N. So let's have some examples. So example number 1. How much Teddy needs to invest now to have a cash flow of $2,000 every month? For the next 5 years with a fixed interest rate of 8%. So dito, kailangan daw ni Teddy, ano daw yung halaga na kailangan i-invest ni Teddy para magkaroon ng cash flow na $2,000 every month sa next 5 years na may fixed interest rate daw na 8%. So first step natin, lagi natin agad yung formula. So let's substitute the values. So first one, present value is equal to 2000 so, color-coded naman siya. Times the quantity, dun tayo sa numerator part muna. We have 1 minus, so parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12. So, nang galing yung 0 0.08? So, 8%. So, that will be the rate. And we have to convert it to decimal. So, that will be 0 0.08. Next naman, every month. So, compounding every month siya. So, mapapansin mo, ang every month natin ay 12. Yun ang n natin. 12. At ang exponent natin is negative nt. So, ang n natin ay 12 at ang t natin ay 5. So, negative 12 times 1 ang 5. Alright, so sa denominator naman, that will be r over n. So, that will be 0 0.08 over 1 ang 12. Next step natin, simplify natin yung numerator and denominator. If we're going to simplify the numerator, make sure dire diretso to sa calculator natin, ha? So, ang sagot dito will be 0.32878955 and decimal. Okay? Denominator part naman natin, that will be 0 0.006 repeating decimal. So, paulit-ulit na 6 yun. Next step, we have to divide the numerator at yung denominator. So, yung 0.32 something, divide mo sa 0 0.006 repeating decimal. And the answer will be 49.318. 4, 3, 3, 3, and so on. Okay. And last step natin, i-multiply natin siya sa 2,000. And you will get an answer of 98,636.87. So dun sa tanong na, how much that it needs to invest now to have a cash flow of $2,000 every month for the next 5 years with a fixed interest rate of 8%. So, ang mong kailangan daw ay 98,636.87 cents. Okay, so example number 2 tayo. Find the present value ordinary annuity with monthly payments of $1,000 for 3 years with interest rate of 15% compounded monthly. So, same lang naman ito. Napin natin yung present value ordinary annuity. So, first step, lagi natin yung formula. Ang sunod na step natin ay Substitute natin yung mga values. So we have the cash flow is 1,000. Ang rate natin is 15%. At ang N ay 12 kasi compounded monthly. Okay? And time is 3 kasi 3 years. So substitute natin. So cash flow ay 1,000 times the quantity. Dun tayo sa numerator part muna. That will be 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0.15 over 1 and 12. At ang exponent mo ay negative 12 times mo 3. At sa denominator naman, that will be 0.15 over mo 12. Ngayon, 
Simplify na natin yung numerator and denominator. Let's start with the numerator. We have 0 0.3605908 and so on. As the denominator naman, that will be 0 0.0125. So, na step natin, simplify it further pa ulit. So, yung 0.36 something, divide mo sa 0 0.0125 and the answer will be 28.847267 and decimal. So, what? Lastly, we have to multiply it by 1,000. At ang makukuha niyong sagot dyan ay 28,847 and 27 cents. Dun sa tanong na, find the present value ordinary annuity with monthly payments of $1,000 daw for 3 years na may interest rate na 15% compounded monthly. Ang present value ordinary annuity nito ay 28,847 and 27 cents. Okay, so last example tayo. Find the present value ordinary annuity with quarterly payments of $15,000 for 10 years na may interest rate daw na 8% compounded quarterly. So same question lang to kanina. Hinahanap natin yung present value ordinary annuity but dito naman compounded quarterly. Remember, pag compounded quarterly, ang N natin dyan ay 4. So sagutin na natin. Lagay natin yung formula muna. And after that, substitute natin. So the present value ordinary annuity is equal to the cash flow, which is 15,000. Times mo dun sa quantity. Let's go to the numerator part first. That will be 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0 0.08 over mo ng 4. At ang exponent mo ay negative 4 times natin ng 10. So denominator naman, that will be 0 0.08 over 4. Next step, we have to simplify the numerator and the denominator. So sa numerator part natin, that will be 0 0.547109 and so on. So may decimal pa yan. At sa denominator naman, that will be simply 0 0.02. Ngayon, simplify it further ulit. Divide na natin siya. Yung 0.54 something, divide natin sa 0 0.02 and the answer will be 27.35-5479 and so on. Lastly, we have to multiply it to 15,000 and the answer will be $410,332.19. Alright, so dun sa tanong na, find the present value ordinary annuity with quarterly payments, so $15,000 for 10 years with interest rate down na 8% compounded quarterly, Ang sagot ay $410,332.19. And that's the end of the lesson about ordinary annuity present value. Ang next video naman natin will be about the periodic payment future value ordinary annuity. So paano naman hahanapin natin yung cash flow pag sa future value ordinary annuity. So we have the formula cash flow is equal to the so numerator part, we have future value over dun sa quantity na a fraction of it. So numerator part ng bagong fraction, that will be 1 plus r over n to the n t minus something 1 over r over n. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.